check our spot, man. <laughs> Pretty fantastical. Well, I want that spot. He did. That was empty when we got here, but I... If you go over there and look, it's like a, le a ledge. It's a little bit of an overhang. A little bit. It's a sheer drop. <laughs> it's a sheer drop. <laughs> it was a little much for me. I don't think I would have slept very soundly. The view is amazing, though. But, I mean, the view from here, it's just... And I mean, that, look at this. That Heimer wasn't there, either. <clears throat> That's true. I like our spot. Yeah, there's no neighbors right next to us. The dog doesn't have to be on a leash. But yeah, today was an awesome day in the Valley of Fire. That was a great day. Yeah, we definitely want to go back there. I think now that we know that this this BLM land is called like Poverty Flats. Yeah. It's what like seven miles, maybe five, yeah. to, five to ten miles from the Valley of Fire. You can go to Valley of Fire, do everything there all day, drive out, come park here at night, start a campfire, let your dog roam around. It's just so... Pistol, do you like it here? I think you do. I think you do. We got dinner going. Got some potatoes and onions happening right now. Got some wine happening right now. He's got the wine. We're going to grill up a couple sausages on the fire Dave got going. Meat-free sausages. Tofurky kielbasas. And you already Delicious. ate. You already ate, little one. Yes, you're always hungry, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I know. Anyway, pretty stoked about this spot. Oh, crap! Sausage that. broke. Please. That one's yours. <laughs> sausage will travel. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? What was that? Was that Paladin? Yeah. Oh, Paladin. Paladin. <clears throat> well, Paladin was his name. Right. The show itself was Have Gun Will Travel. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Have I Gun Will travel. travel, read the card of a man. Yeah. A knight without armor in a savage land. She likes... His fast guns are higher. He's a calling wind. <laughs> a soldier of fortune. It's a man called... Paladin. Paladin, Paladin, where do you come? Paladin, Paladin, all far from home. What were we saying today? Simple things. Yeah. It's simple things. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Whoa, oh. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Good morning. It's a late morning. What time do you get up? <laughs> I usually am up by six um, in a van. I usually sleep later. Back at the condo, it's like six. I'm usually up. I woke up at six this morning, and then I felt like laying in bed, and, and then she woke me up and said, "Hey, it's eight <laughs> thirty. I don't." recall the last time I slept till 8 30. Uh -huh. It was just dead quiet last night. I didn't hear a thing. <clears throat> nope. And the moon was so yeah, we bright. Had, <clears throat> it's a full moon last night. We had night. our back window open last night and the, where the moon was it, it was like almost like the sun <laughs> in there. But not that bright. Okay it wasn't like the sun. Yeah it was it was bright. It was a bright moon. Yeah. This is where I want to check out today. There was a Heimer RV, which actually bought out, Heimer bought out Road Trek. I think bought out or went, I don't know. Yeah, they, I think they bought it. <clears throat> anyway, they're in Canada. And we're going to be wanting a different 
RV in the next few years anyway. So we're, we're excited about Heimer taking over Road Truck because Heimer is a European um, and the Europeans are they're just doing a lot of different things. Yeah, they're so far advanced. You can get a lot of different Options. class B's in Europe that you cannot get in the US. Yeah, class B's have been a bigger deal over, over there, I think, longer than here. And mm -hmm. so they do a lot of really cool things. I mean, they do not just slide outs. They do where, like, the whole back of the thing slides out and makes it longer when you're at camp. And, and but Road Trek and Heimer, I think, are the only ones that I know that are doing that length the 19 and a half foot 2500 they call it which is i guess three quarter ton they're the only ones i know that are doing it on that short version the rest of them winnebago pleasure way they're all doing it on the one ton which is almost two feet longer doesn't seem like much but it's that just fits into any parking spot anywhere so it just and all you're giving up is you know like the road truck one ton 3500 version of that the only thing different in the whole thing other than the size is as a king size bed instead of a queen so but i think the queen so far has been sufficient if you can't get by on a queen bed for crying out loud <laughs> i mean there we're basically sleeping three people well she's she may look like she's small but when she stretches out she's probably what eight ten foot long <laughs> yeah at <laughs> least <laughs> What do you say we spend another day here and then we can take the mountain bikes out and go ride all over back in there? Oh, and I'll take like a bag and I will, um, I'll scavenge for firewood so we can have a rip roaring fire tonight. Ooh, Dave's gonna run. I'm gonna go on the bike. The dog's gonna stay in the van where it's nice and cool because it's too hot for her to go exercise right now. So um, I got a little backpack on because I'm hoping to scavenge for some firewood. Someone wants a fire. Not a fire. That fire. was fun. That was fun last night, but we we're just like rationing the pieces of wood. I like a big fire. 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 We'll see what we come up with. We're always looking for, that's a good spot, but we're always like, when you're on BLM line, like, I wonder what that spot's like, what that spot's like. Well, this would be a cool spot. It's like a little mini Grand Canyon here. <laughs> wow, you could see where the water's ripped through there. <laughs> I think this is as far as the van could go. Oh, the trail keeps going though. Parked the van right, right here. <laughs> oh, no. I'll check this out. Gonna head back? Yeah, I'll just
where you'd want to be if it was raining real hard. I imagine this would be a good flash flood area. I wonder where I'm going. So I'm probably about three miles away from camp. And I thought I'd mention if you're running out in this kind of country, well, anywhere where um, it kind of can all look the same from different directions. Like I've been following this trail right here, but then it continually hooks up with these type of washes and gravel, and you're going back and forth to some different types of terrain. You always want to mark any place, anytime you come to a place where if you were coming back the other direction, you don't want to have any doubt which way you went. So all it takes is a little, you know, mark in the in the dirt or something that you recognize when you come back because there's nothing worse than being lost and there's not, nothing worse than not knowing if you're lost so very unique out here I'm gonna go a little bit farther than head back and hopefully I mark my way back well ah oh, firewood Green, bring her backpack. Damn it. That's Overton. Camp's a long ways away. <laughs> Just up there, I'm turning around. Promise. So when you run for miles, <clears throat> I'm running back and there's a lot of places where the road or the trail, well, I'm a trail, forks off. And after running four or five, six miles, they all start to look the same, especially on your way back and your miles from where you were. And like I said, you always want to mark the trail whenever, whenever they, they intersect. But sometimes you forget, like here, I forgot. And I know I'm going that direction, but I want to stay on the same trail. So you should always know what your shoe track looks like. That way it doesn't ever out. I never remember how steep it is going back up on the way back. Made it. I didn't get lost. Hi! <laughs> uh, I don't want to brag or anything. Whoa! I've got a wood. Dude, you should have saw the wood I saw that I couldn't bring back. Ah! Yeah. <sighs> 